Hello, this is just a quick walkthrough tutorial on using Vi to edit files in hex. So Vi itself doesn't have a hex editor or a hex mode as far as I know. Um, so how we do this is we pass Vi's input buffer uh, through an external program called XXD which you'll find on most um, systems that have Vi installed. Uh, to convert the file into hex so we can edit it and then we can use XSD again to convert it back. Um, this is really simple to do and I'll, I'll just demonstrate it now. So, so the first thing we need is a, a file that we can edit. So I have one here. Um, so if we just pull that into Vi, some text. So to convert this into hex inside Vi, which gives us a, a kind of a hex mode I guess, we just uh, need to be in command mode, so it's colon, the percent sign which selects the whole input buffer or the whole file, the explanation mark or pling, so we're going to call an external program to push that buffer through, and it's just xxd. So you can see this down here at the bottom, and then we, there we go, and that's now in, in hex mode. And what you can see here is the, the 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 file offset on the on the left. That's this bit, the hex going across here, and then there's the text. This is quite useful if you want to see the uh, characters or the the hex for characters that aren't normally printable. So, for example, here we've got this A zero, which is the uh, it's either line feed or carriage return, which is represented by this dot here but normally that would be the new line as you as you saw it in the text file so I'll just quickly show you c converting this back then so we, we hit escape a couple of times again to make sure we're in command mode so it's colon command percent again xxd so it's the same command but we were just with minus r on the end and that puts us back So if we just do the same thing again, put it back in hex mode. So one thing to note here, if you are going to edit a file using hex, when you convert use XSD to convert back, the only thing it looks at is this section here, which is the the hex part. It won't look at this the text part over here. Um, I'll, I'll demonstrate that by if we just convert, say that's 68 for the H, we'll convert that to an I, so we'll just, so we've gone for that there. But I'll also just convert this A into a, a capital X and just save that. So I'll convert this back now using it xxd minus r and what you'll see is the the h has been converted to an i but the a so that's that's been converted but the a here is still a an a it's not an uppercase x because it's only looked at the hex portion if we just go back percent xxd and then I save it like this this will, so I've converted this again to hex and I'm just going to save and quit and then I'm just going to cap the file just just cap just dumps it to the screen you can see that the file we've actually got is as it was in the input buffer so you have to remember to convert it back before saving your file or you'll end up with with a file that actually contains the, the hex dump. So and then we'll save and quit that and then I'll cut that again. And that's as it as it should be. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Uh, you can use XXD, it is an external program so you'll find it on the system so you can just type xxd and that will dump your file so if all you wanted to do is look at a small file 
uh, in hex you could use use XHD externally like that um, and that hasn't actually edited or changed your file at all all that's done is is XHD is just displaying the hex version of it on the screen so if we you can see the file hasn't actually changed there um, and that's it so uh, thank you for watching